Miyashirala, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Ray Millstone, citations, and to the led men that's continually feeding the sheep of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, and sincerity and truth with this great gospel, man, coming out of our Bible. And, um, as, a, as a prophet, that is your job to feed the sheep, to feed the sheep. So the 144 could wake up and um, the Lord could return and get us the hell up out of here. Once this gospel is preached through the four kingdoms and the leg gets, gets um, awoken, it's a wrap for this place, this world that we live in, in right? Uh, everything that you see is about to vanish away. This thing going to be a thing of the past with Edomites and heathens ruling over us. <laughs> And um, right now you see the Lord is bringing beautiful judgment every single day, every single minute, every single hour, every single second, right? It says one day you're here, next day your ass is gone. Your ass is gone. And that's a lot of people. Ever since, especially since um, we done came into this 2000s, right? The Lord kicked it off with that 9-11. Since that 9-11, it's just been downhill. <laughs> it's just been downhill, right? And it's going to continue. Here we are in 2023. Right? Still. We still in 2023. Because the Lord got something special for the times that we're living in, man. Look at how this mother says, Florida mom spoke to kids just minutes. Right? Just minutes before they were killed in tragic crash. Right? I'll see you guys in a minute. I love you guys. I love you too, mom. We'll see you in a few. We're almost home. We're almost home. And they hang up. That's the last time she was she spoke to them. Last time she saw him probably that morning, you know what I mean? And that's who that's the judgment of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. A Florida mother spoke on the phone to her three children for what turned out to be the very last time. Just minutes before police said 15-year-old driver blew through a stop sign and smashed into the car the youngsters were in, right? The fiery crash and pounded. Poinciana Sunday evening wiped out most of Sabrina Hernandez's immediate family. Lord just clapped man. the family, including all her children. What did the Lord do? He killed all her children. He said the fire crash in Poinciana Sunday evening wiped out most of Sabrina Hernandez's immediate family, including all her children. Eleven year old Miley Cruz, nine year old Marvin Cruz, and one year old. Anayari Hernandez and her mother, 50 year old Trinidad Hernandez. Man, the Lord ain't playing. The Lord ain't playing. I'm dying inside. I don't get to see my children. Yeah, that's what this is the time we're living in, right? The time of what? Judgment. The time of judgment. I don't get to see my children anymore. I don't get to see my mother anymore, right? Three kids and a mother. A devastated Sabrina Hernandez told the station, come on, man, that's that judgment. See, you Israelites, it's open season on your asses. <laughs> it's open season on your asses. This is a this is a spirit of torment. Right? This is a spirit of the Lord tormenting you people. I'm gonna read the book of Hebrews 9, verse 27. It reads. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this judgment, right? So after this judgment, so Mashiach was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without, the second time without sin unto salvation, right? He's only coming for those that look for them, for him, and those who ain't looking for him. What's happening? Their ass is being knocked off the shelf. The Lord is cleaning house. Right, the Lord is killing a lot of you Israelites, right? Because you're not looking for the Holy One of Israel, right? You're looking for your lives to be magnified in this society. That's why you you all focus about your kids getting that better education from the devil, right? The devil ain't finna give you what he's giving his children, right? The leech don't give a fuck about no school. They run the world, right? But here you are. You're just thinking, man, I just got to work hard, go to school, get a degree, and everything's going to be okay. No, everything ain't going to be okay. Right? Hebrews 9 and 27. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, right? Because you've been here multiple times before, right? 
you keep coming back in the flesh reincarnated so what happens when you die before you go up to the head lord all spirits return back to the father who made them to the creator and then guess what you get your judgment and then you get sent back down to earth to play out that judgment and that's what happened and three kids were set to die at a certain time with they with their grandmother with their grandmother Second Ezra 14 and 35, for after death shall the judgment come when we shall live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. Yeah. And you can see what's the judgment for the ungodly. What? Death, tribulation, anguish, right? Misery, right? Like that woman we're reading about, she's miserable right now. She's depressed right now. She's losing her fucking mind right now. Ain't nothing. Ain't no gonna be no drugs, no pills, no nothing to help her get through it. Only thing that can help her is your help. I see me outside. That's it. I'm gonna read the book of Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of the Most High is what eternal life through Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, our Lord. Right? Through our Lord, we get a, um, a protection. Right? The Lord said he died for our sins. That's why the Lord is not going to execute all Israel, right? <laughs> That's why Israel gets to return back to the Lord, starting with the elect. But there's two parts. Therein shall be cut off and die. Right? And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing the two-thirds being knocked off the shelf. Them, their children, their family members, their loved ones. This is what judgment time. Matthew 10 and 28. It reads, And fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both the soul and body in hell. Right? Because this woman right now, she was in the car accident, but guess where she at right now? She's in hell. She's in hell. She's going to wake up walking through the house, visioning those kids, having memories of her as a child with her mother. Right? As a, um, as a terror of the Lord. What does it say? Through the what? As the book of 2 Corinthians 5 and 11, it reads, knowing the terror of the Lord, we what? We persuade men, right? We persuade men to what? Repent, to return back to the Lord before the Lord judge you like this woman you just seen and her children and her mother, right? And even that fucking kid who ran that stop sign, that was his judgment because he's about to face some, <laughs> some terrible times, right? Everybody loses 2 Corinthians 5 and 11, knowing, that there, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Because right now, this is not the time to be playing around. It's not the time to be playing around or seeking or finding yourself or looking for a mirthy place of celebration. My fuck is talking about giving into marriage and <laughs> having good times. This ain't the time for that, man. Right, because everything that we see, the way this world operates be, before our eyes, is about to completely stop. Completely stop. You see what the big nations are doing? They're about to completely cut off that American dollar. Completely cut off that American dollar. <laughs> Pretty soon, that your American currency is going to be worthless. Right, that hyperinflation. Right, you won't be able to do nothing with it but what burn it for heat and throw it out in the streets and make paper cars and paper planes. And we've seen these things happen in other countries, Zimbabwe, um, in, in South America, we've seen that happen in Brazil, where was that, wherever country I was, but shit, that's what's going on right now, right, people are, are realizing that um, this world that they're living in is what, vanishing away, Marie just says, COVID doesn't explain why Generation Z millennials are dying, what well, does? Right, it's the first quarter of 2023. Deaths among people 20 to 44 years of old were akin to the same period of 2021, worst pandemic year for that age. Right, it's a lot of young people dying. It's a lot of what women dying. It's a lot of children dying. Right, it's the Lord who's the author of these sanctioned deaths. Right, scientists warned a decade ago American lives were shortening. Then it got worse. Then it got worse. Yeah, you got drug drug addiction. You got suicide at all time high. You got murder suicide. 
right? You got gang banging, gangs and violence and street violence and this rap music done polluted the minds of the people. You got these filthy ass bitches, got gone niggas going off and killing their dumb asses. Right? So the spirit of what fucking death is in the air. It says American excess deaths. Nearly 85% jump in what three years? It says um people in the US are dying at higher rates than similar high income countries. Right? As a lord, as a lord. Yeah, we in the times like of no, we in the times like no, but worse. But worse. Don't forget the Lord to this time. It ain't gonna be no flood, it's gonna be fire. We already seen seen that, that that fire begin to kindle. Right with these different things, it's your C19, your military movement, and your World War Three just right around the corner. Wait till it really takes over. It says death. This is the book of um, Ecclesiastes 40 and I'm gonna start at I'm gonna start at 40 and 9. It says death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. I'm gonna read it again. Death and bloodshed, strife, and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for who? For the wicked, and for their sake came the flood. Right? So, hey, we ain't, we ain't feeling no sympathy, no sorrow. Right? We ain't feel, feeling no sympathy and no sorrow for no person who gets put to death. Right, for nobody who lose their lives, that's man, that's the Lord who set it up like that. I'm reading really again, death and bloodshed. Ecclesiastes 40 and 9, death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked. For their sake came the flood. And guess what's coming next? The fire. 